Hey, hey, welcome to another Corona workout. Um, this is scheduled to be your Wednesday workout, so I have my pink leggings on because we wear pink on Wednesdays. Um, so we'll jump right in. We're going to start with our first superset. Um, it's going to be a superset super set kind of a, a warm-up for us, which will be great. So we're going to do 30 jumping jacks. We're going to do 10 thrusters. So I'll show you what thrusters are. They're basically a squat with a shoulder press at the top. Uh, and so we're going to do four rounds of those. So we'll just jump into our jumping jacks. Jump into our jumping jack. Three seconds in and I'm already being a nerd. Oh well. <laughs> There's ten jumping jacks. There's twenty. And there's thirty. So for our thrusters. I'm going to pick up a weight, you don't have to. Um, I like to put the weights right here at shoulder height and then you're going to go down to a squat and then pop up with some power. You can end up on your tiptoes, that's okay. So it's kind of almost like that modification I've shown for the jump squats where you end up on your tiptoes. Here's nine and then ten. And then it just has that shoulder press at the top to get our heart rate going. So that was round number one. We'll do three more of those. This is a lighter round. So we'll do four instead of three for some of our warm-ups. <sighs> um, take a second to see how that felt with the weight for the thrusters. If you used a weight, how did that feel? Do you need more? Do you need less? If you didn't use a weight, maybe grab one. If you're deciding no weight, keep those fists clench so you can still get a good squeeze in the arm. All right, let's go for round number two. Shoulders, dip down, pop up, down and up. There's eight, nine, ten. Amazing how that little pop at the end can help with the heart rate, right? Ah. <sighs> May as well be week 30. That's okay. <laughs> Make sure to take time for self care, friends, besides exercise. I like to act like this is my, a message for myself. I like to act like exercise is the only self care I need. It's not true. Trust me, I've done the research. <laughs> so get some time for yourself. Paint your nails. You know, be a good book. Live to watch that show where you're embarrassed you like. You know, I like to re-watch movies that are like my guilty pleasure. There's 20 jumping jacks. Clueless is at the top of that list. Don't even need it playing to know every single word. It just makes me feel happy. A simpler life <laughs> where Dion He's worried about finding polyester hair in your boyfriend's car. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, there's ten. One more of those. Hmm. All right, hopefully you're starting to feel nice and warmed up. Our next activity we're going to move into is a slightly different version of a deltoid fly. Um, our deltoid flies are the ones where we lean forward and then we kind of flap our wings. We're going to do a slight um, adjustment to that. And we'll do some bilateral bicep curls, both arms together, because every day is arm day, right? Let's get this last set of jumping jacks and thrusters in. We'll get going. There's 
20, 10 more. position we spend a lot of our time on we're shoulder raised and then we open our arms like that this time what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, hands and instead of pointing wrists together wrists are going to point out like that and you're actually going to come up like so so elbows end up out probably actually better if I show you from the front so bend forward roll those shoulders back and then elbows are going to come up out like this but just like with our other deltoid fly you want your your lats and your shoulder blades to feel like they're squeezing at the top into your spine, like squeezing together at your spine. So get that really good squeeze at the top. We're gonna do two, uh, 10 of those, not two. Keep your head in that neutral position. So just lined up with your spine. And as always, everything else on your body should be as still as possible. So squeeze at the top right there. Give it a good squeeze. All of our back exercises, you should notice have that good squeeze at the top. That was 10. Now we'll do our bilateral bicep curls. Give it a roll back, palms out, glue the upper part of your arm to the side of your body, open and close, keeping everything else still and quiet. So use this time, here's nine and here's 10. Use this superset. It's a great way to get, we're gonna get some good back and bicep work, but use it to catch your breath. <laughs> we just kind of raised it. We're gonna use it here to, uh, we're gonna probably lower it a little bit here. And then our next one will be a leg exercise. So we'll kind of shoot that heart rate through the air or through the roof again. And then we'll end with some special push-ups. I'm liking push-ups this week. It must've been that <laughs> push-up challenge. All the push-ups. So we're gonna do a variation on a push-up and then some Russian twists, which is an ab workout. So, let's see how those go. So round number two, I'll show you from the side for these ones. So down in that crouch position, stick that bottom out, and then out to the side, elbows all the way out, and into a 90 degree, and then squeeze right here. There's five, six, seven, good squeezes here, eight, Nine, imagine those, there's 10. Shoulder blades, I'm just gonna down, squeezing together. Bicep curls, I'm a mess right now. I keep turning all over the place. <laughs> there's four, five, good squeeze at the top. Now put that mind's eye in your biceps. And imagine them contracting at the top. Good squeeze, so we're gonna do one more. There we go. I'm just gonna hold on to the weights. Why not? So good deep breaths. <clears throat> Take a moment to think about on those deltoid flies. Really think about squeezing your shoulder blades together and your lats together. And then on the bicep curls, really focus on your bicep extending and then contracting like this. So good squeeze at the top. Okay? So we're gonna do set number three. Let's face this direction now. in, a little extra core workout in, seven, eight, nine, and there's ten. If you find yourself swinging all over the place with those, as I always say, your weight's probably too heavy, or you need to really just attend to making your back do the work. So put your mind's eye in your back muscles, force them to do it. There's ten. Was already set number three. We have one more of these. <clears throat> so our, as a preview, our next superset will be a lunge and then 
kind of like a knee lift at the end. It basically is a step up that we did on our very first workout without the chair. It's the same sort of movement, just we're gonna put a lunge at the beginning. You can do those with or without weights as always. And then we're going to end with uh, weighted squats. You can choose your weight. You can just choose not to have weight, as always. But as always, please push and challenge yourself. You get out of these workouts what you put into them. Here's nine, and here's 10. Shoulders will roll. to get water if you need to I'm gonna just keep going use the time while I'm talking to get catch your breath should be fine um, so what we're gonna start with is actually a reverse lunge and then when you're coming up instead of just stopping at this position we're gonna lift the knee like that at the end so what it will look like is if I'm gonna start on my right side just need to get some space here I'm gonna I like I'm gonna start with hands on my hip I'm gonna come down into the reverse lunge and then pop up with my knee and we're gonna stick on one side at the same time, just because it's a little easier that way. So we'll do eight on this side, and then we'll switch and do eight on the other side. If you want weights, you can just hold the weights to your side, down in that lunge, and then up, okay? So with the weights, there's the added challenge of weight. And then also the added challenge is you need a little bit more of your balance. So really hold that core tight and then find a spot to focus on. So try them with weights, try them without weights. Either way is fine as always. And then we'll end with our weighted squats. We all know how to do those at this point. Hopefully, yeah. All right, here we go. Just gonna jump in. All right, I'm gonna try it with the weights. We'll see how the, <laughs> the balancing act goes. So here's one, I'm gonna focus on Look at that, <laughs> a spot, good heavens. I changed my spot to focus on and fell. There's five, six, seven, and there's eight. I'm gonna go ahead and switch, get my balance. There's one, two, good kick at the end, three, six, seven, woo, and eight. Make sure to keep watching that knee. Make sure it's not going way far over your shoe. There's three on the squats. Take your time with these. And here's eight. Excellent. That was round number one. So we'll do that three more times, as always. Get some good deep breaths. Use the squats as a place to catch your breath as well. Remember, inhale, down, exhale, on that push up. Get to breathe on the lunges as well. And as always, don't forget to think about the muscles we're working. Thighs, hamstrings, butt, squeeze them on every single rep. I'm gonna start with um, this side. Yeah, I'm gonna start with right leg planted. Now, start round number two. Here we go. Two. one on the switch is the hardest one for me to keep balanced. Here's number eight. Now we'll move into our squats. Squeeze here. There's four. Exhale. Seven and eight. Excellent. 
two down, two to go. Catch your breath, good exhales in through the nose, out through the mouth. Exaggerate those exhales to get your heart rate down. your hands 
and then we're going to dip down, leg up, down, the other leg, here's three, here's four, here's five, last one, and here's six. So the hardest thing with those, just like a lot of other things, is keeping your butt out of the air. Uh, so just, we're gonna, um, you'll probably just need to make sure your chest is in between your arms and your shoulders if you feel your butt going out of your air or out in the air. The last thing we're gonna do is our Russian twist. Um, so we're gonna do some inchworms which starts in the same position. You can kind of balance on the upper part of your butt and legs up. Uh, I believe we've done a Russian twist and then you're gonna twist. We've done these before, right? Uh, and then remember the modification is you can just put feet down and then turn. So do whichever one works for you. We're gonna do 20 on each side. Here's five, six, seven, eight, here's nine, 10, halfway there, 11. If you're struggling, put your feet down for a couple and then pick them right back up. Or drop the weight, that's fine too. 17, 18, belly button to lower back, last one, 20. Cool? All right, three more rounds of that. How did the Superman push-ups feel? Feel, feel, feel. Um, again, if you did the modification with your knees down and that felt great, try that one again. If it felt a little too easy, try the standard way. You can start with standard and then if it gets a little too hard, just drop your knees and do the rest with your knees on the ground. Like I always say, broken record. Do what works for you where you can still push yourself and challenge yourself. All right, round number two. I'm gonna get in my push-up position. Keep my butt out of the air. Here we go. There's three, four, five, and six. 42 sets of them done. Get into your Russian twist position, whichever works for you. Three, Four. Remember everything else stays nice as still as possible. My legs are moving just a little bit, but I'm trying to keep them as still as possible. That's 10. There's 18, two more, 19 and 20. Beautiful. Turn this way now. Right. So two more sets of these. Big deep breaths, you can give those abs a nice little stretch for our last two. <sighs> Find your happy place. Where we started. <laughs> Here we go. Chest is going all the way to the ground. One more, I think. <laughs> Sorry, I think that was too many. But at this point, you should know I don't even care. <laughs> My numbers are always on these, at least roundabout. As I said before, they are never roundabout on my own exercises, but I seem to like to torture you guys. Beginning to think I'm doing it subconsciously on purpose. Here's 10, halfway down with these. Notice how every motion I'm doing right now is under control. You should always have your body under control when you're doing exercises. If you're flailing about, your mind probably needs to put a little focus on more tight, more straight, flailing about, generally not good for us. Unless you're having an enjoyable, silly run like Phoebe Buffet running about. Other than that, we generally want to keep our bodies in control and not just swing all over the place. Either way, this is our last set on our last super set to finish off this workout. Okay. 
There we go. you to feel good and energized and hopefully notice some differences in your body while you're stuck at home. I really appreciate you joining us. We'll see you for our next one.